He's finding his own style. I get such bad mum guilt. So I would totally recommend you guys visiting it. He's just hitching a ride. And then Harry Styles just came past. It went better than we were expecting. They're like a little bit late, so hopefully they let us in. And it actually died while I was asleep. <gasps> Jax is already! But we'll show them Hyde Park and, and it's one of our favourite restaurants. Who's the luckiest little brother? Careful Jax. Oh! And Caleb is loving this. We'll show you the hotels. Is Emily not the best mummy? Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I would vlog because we have quite an exciting day planned. The kids are currently on half term, which means it is the school holidays. So they have a week off and we decided to go into London for one night and sort of explore London, do a few things like some of the sites. We also have to do a little bit of shopping as well. Um, and we're gonna stay in a hotel, which is always really exciting. We're also gonna go to our favorite restaurant for dinner. We saw kids there last time and we were like, oh my God, we need to bring the kids back here. So we're just on our way into London now. Orange Mini. Orange Mini, the kids are playing the mini game. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think I've shared that on here before, haven't I? That road trip hack. Yeah. So basically, if you see a mini, you get a point. But if you see a yellow or an orange or a gold mini, you win. Even just going to London for 48 hours was such an ordeal to get out of the house, but we'd planned it all, packed, found out the train times, went to the train station. We were all like so excited to get on the train. And then we found out when we got there that something had happened and no trains were running today. Then we were going to get an Uber, but in the end we found a place where we can park. So we're actually just going to drive in. So we are in London now. But I'll show you what we get up to. It should be a really fun day. And Yoda's like here. the hotel we're going to. We've got Yoda with us as well. He only comes out for holidays. Yeah, he does. Stays, you, he? you only come on all of our holidays, don't He's you? <laughs> Glory Hunter. Yeah. We're literally 19, 19 minutes away. So let's go. Okay, so we've made it to London and first off this morning, we're gonna go and do a little bit of shopping just cause Fraser is desperate for some new summer clothes. So we're on our way to John Lewis on Oxford Street now. I always feel like, cause he's the eldest of three boys, whatever we buy for him, like it needs to be really good quality cause we know it's gonna be passed down to two other people. Whatever we buy him now, Caleb will wear and then Jackson will wear as well. So we always like want it to be really hard wearing. And that is why we're going to John Lewis now and I've been so chuffed we've actually been working with them over on Instagram I love their clothes so much I'm actually wearing this dress is John Lewis today I might do some cutaways because we're all wearing their clothes and I'm just in love with this dress it's so comfortable so flowy it's got like this little um, tie on the side where you can cinch in your waist as well and all of the kids are wearing their new children's wear collection as well so Jackson's got this really cozy blue tracksuit on Kayla's got this really cool cam jacket on and shorts and then everything Fraser is wearing he chose from their new tween range so what I love about the new John Lewis children's wear collection is they have two collections one for the younger kids from ages 2 to 8 and then one for the tweens from ages 8 to 14 and that is perfect for our two older boys because I've always felt like there's been like almost like a bit of a gap there because you know Fraser's 12 he's not a child he doesn't want to wear what his six year old brother is wearing but then he's also not an adult so having this tween range is perfect and they've got so many nice things I was looking on the website the other night so we're gonna go in we're gonna let Fraser choose exactly what he wants because you know he's at that stage where he's finding his own style so I'll show you what he chooses and I'll take you with us Fraser's just gonna have a look now. They've got loads of stuff for summer. Absolutely love this. Look at this tie-dye. 
shirt and they've got, actually got some swimwear over there as well um, but I think he's sort of we're looking at this area when he's like some shorts and some t-shirts and stuff you get the whole look or is that too much this one would be really nice for every day it says hi full team Right, success. Fraser has chosen a good few outfits now for summer, so we're going to get those. And we've just been having a really good look around. There's so many brands in here. They've got Mini Bowden, Boss, Pop as well. And they've actually recently upgraded this Oxford Street store to make it a more interactive, fun shopping experience for kids. So as you go around, there are different things for the kids to play. They've got this like whole book corner where you can look at the books, but you can also chill out on the bean bags. They've got a Lego area where the kids can play with Lego. They've also teamed up with Barbie and Scalectrics. And you can even do an interactive scavenger hunt on this floor. So there's loads for them to do, which is amazing because I get such bad mum guilt. It's like, you know, you go shopping and you really want them to try on shoes or clothes but you feel a bit guilty. So there's actually loads, it's like a day out basically in here. And they've actually upgraded four stores like this. So I know it's this one, the Oxford Street one. I think it's Milton Keynes, Liverpool and Horsham as well. So there's all this fun stuff to do. And it's on the same floor as the toys as well. So I mean, the boys are having the best time ever. They're currently in the Lego area. So let me show you what they're doing. Natural History Museum. This is an amazing free museum and the last time I came was when Fraser was really little so Jackson I don't think it's ever been. Um, so we're gonna go there now. It's a completely free museum to go to but you do have to book tickets so we did that and we're like a little bit late so hopefully they let us in. Look at this amazing building. Oh my gosh. I want to see the dinosaurs. I know it's a T-Rex. Yeah. It's so beautiful. So Jax, what do you want to see? A T-Rex spot. Yeah, you want to see the dinosaurs the most, don't you? Should we go find them? They've got full yeah. life-size ones. Yeah. Yeah. And once we were at Dubai and we saw this. So it was a bone of this like um, a, a dinosaur. And it actually died while I was asleep. Oh, did it? They worked yeah. out that how it did died? Yeah. How come the stars come to shine when it's dark? From so far away, show us where we are. What makes the sun go to sleep? Every night, and what's it dreaming of? I wonder. How come the sky sometimes hides behind the clouds? Maybe it's just like me, a little bit scared of heights. Why does the rain always keep on pouring down when it's grey outside? It really makes me wonder. Yeah, it makes me wonder. It really makes me wonder. What wonder? Okay, so we're all done at the Natural History Museum and it was really good. We saw the dinosaur exhibition, the volcanoes and earthquakes exhibition and loads of other stuff as well. It was so busy though. I would totally recommend you guys visiting it. Um, I can see why you have to book now and it was actually quite hot in there because it was busy and it's a beautiful day. So anyway, we needed some air. So we've come out of the museum, walked down the road and we're now in Hyde Park. Boys haven't been to Hyde Park for years. Um, I don't know if they would remember it. They were so young. So we thought we'll show them Hyde Park and actually if you walk through, you will 
end up at the restaurant that we're going to tonight. Well, I say tonight, it's got, we've got a 4.30 booking and it's one of our favorite restaurants. It's called Ivy Asia. Matt and I have been there about three or four times before. We normally go for like birthdays, anniversaries. It's really cool, like it's very Instagrammable decor. Um, and the food is amazing. They've got like sushi um, and it's just really delicious. So last time we were there, we saw kids and we were like, oh my gosh, didn't realize you could bring kids here. So we've got a voucher from Christmas. Like basically every Christmas, Matt's sister gets us um, a voucher for there because she knows we love it so much. So we're gonna use it today. So yeah, really excited to show the kids. Uh, they've got like mocktails and stuff. I think they'll really like. Um, so we're just having a wander through Hyde Park now. It's a beautiful day. There's loads of like little dogs and people having picnics and stuff. Who's the luckiest little brother? You've got four people to carry you. <laughs> what if the world had more of your smile? What if the wind could spread your love? What if your sweetness could reach everyone? There'd be no wars. Careful, Jackson. Oh! Jackson is struggling. We've probably done about 20,000 steps. Didn't actually realize it's like a 30 to 40 minute walk through my park. Uh, but we're nearly there now. They've done so well. He's just hitching a ride for the very last bit. We're nearly I wish there. I had a bike right now. Yeah, there's lots of people on bikes, isn't there? That's a good idea. Birds will sing about your heart Maybe the trees will whisper the word Maybe the sun will spread your joy to the ones who lost their hope He was like, oh my god, can we come back here? It's so good. It's so good, isn't it? What are you eating now? That's a Szechuan chicken. He was like, oh my god, we need the recipe for this. It's so good. So yummy. Can't take that out. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. So what have we got? We've got black cod, which is amazing. We've got Szechuan chicken, some sushi, we've got dumplings, steamed broccoli. We've got, what was that? That chicken was great for the kids, but they didn't have ketchup, which the boys were like not impressed about. <laughs> we were like, bring some ketchup next time. That was good, but I love the Yeah, so the number one Szechuan chicken, it's so good. We're actually getting another one because it's pretty much all gone. And soy sauce. Can we try it? So you can tell Kayla likes something. We want the no, of course. Me and Mum wanted to get dumplings, but we didn't think what they would look like. Yeah, they didn't look the way we thought they were going to look, did they? Yeah, I thought it was going to be like those normal ones that have twisted, like little balls. Yeah. That's Jackson's technique. Let's see it. Jab it. <laughs> oh, do you want me to cut it for you? Nah. How you do it? Show them, show them, You're doing it all wrong, you chopstick users. <laughs> oh, wait. Hey, got it. Yes. Uh... <laughs> so, we were coming out of the restaurant to get a taxi. And then Harry Styles just came past. Yeah, he just literally walked past, didn't he? Who's he? And he's just he... on his own. Yeah, and I just looked at him. I yeah. reckon he he's... had like underclothes security. Somewhere. What do you think he's got security walking in? Probably someone him? watching him. I don't know. He just looks so chilled, and he's on his own. I looked straight at him, and he looked away, and I thought, Oh my god, that's Harry Styles. He went, Oh my god, that's Emily Norris. Check him. Went and told his friends. He's like, <gasps> 
That was so cool. So we've just finished in the restaurant and it was so delicious. We're all so stuffed. It went better than we were expecting. Like they had no kids menus, but the kids loved the food that we ordered, especially the Szechuan chicken. We had to order a second portion because they loved it so much and the popcorn shrimp as well. Um, so yeah, we've just all eaten really well and it was so cool in there. The kids were like, we gotta come back here again. So that was a real success. Um, and then yeah, then we left, saw Harry Styles which was insane do. yeah just walking around mayfair on his own um and we've just got in a cab and we're just going to go to our car get our luggage that is in the car and then we're going to go to our hotel um, i'll show you the hotel it's really cool we've stayed there before but never with the kids so we've got connecting rooms it's called stay tree house i'll show you our room they're like really quirky quite London rooms. Um, so I think the kids are gonna love it. They're just so excited to stay in a hotel. Uh, we're just gonna stay there one night. Um, they live yeah, in our hotel. We'll show you, yeah. Hey, it's the first day of the month. Okay, they're just gonna make a phone call. <laughs> they're so amazed at this telephone box. Yeah, I'm second them play Okay, let's see. Excited? Hey so we've just got to our hotel room and there's these little birds on the wall. There's like magic eight balls, mushroom pillows, kaleidoscopes. Yes, look. That. Yeah, we can ask the magic eight ball some things. Kaleidoscope. Oh Let's see. Yeah, you guys could have that room? Yeah. yeah. Do you guys want to be in here? I'm on this side. Okay. I'm, on the side. I'm in the middle. Oh. <laughs> There's a little desk. Oh yeah, look, we can read these. Oh look, they've left you kids' books to read. Mum. Yeah. Is Emily Nash the best mum? Very... To hold it flat. Wait. It says very something. Very truthful. Very truthful. Oh, you are the best! <laughs> and then look, this is the bathroom. There's no bath, but luckily... They're like, they're a bit old, the boys, so it's fine. You can get a bath. We have had one in a room before. Um, so yeah, this is us. I don't know what the sleeping arrangement is gonna be because there's five of us and there's only two beds, but Jackson does normally sleep between us, doesn't he? Mm -hmm. So it should be fine. Mom, I made purple on it. Did you? <laughs> wow, it's actually showing up. Oh, yeah, see? Whoa! <laughs> okay, so we've been hanging out in the room. We're all exhausted because we have had such a busy day. It's already eight o'clock, so I think what we're going to do now is shower the kids and then cuddle up and watch BGT because that is on tonight. Um, so that's the plan. We did bring some studying for Fraser. The week that he gets back from half term, he has got exams. So we really need to revise during this week. So we have brought some, there is a desk. So we might try and do a little bit of that. I think he's brought history to revise as well. So fingers crossed we can do that. It's really hard because obviously it's the half term. So you feel like they should have a little break, but then he's got exams as soon as he gets back and it's the first time he's ever had them. So it's kind of like a first for him and for us. Like I don't really know how to get him to revise some of the subjects like I didn't even study history, I don't think, at senior school level. Um, so yeah, we try and navigate that. Yeah, but we've had the absolute best day. It was beautiful weather. We had so much fun. We got some stuff done. The food was amazing. And now it's so exciting to actually be staying in London, like in a hotel for the night. So we're gonna have another day here tomorrow. I'm not sure if I'm gonna vlog or not. I'll see how I get on. It's quite a good way to break up the half term just by having one night away. We're also having two days and like we're doing loads. So it has felt like we've actually had a little break away from home. Um, so yeah, anyway, I think I'm gonna end the vlog here. We're just gonna get the kids in their pajamas and chill out. But I hope you enjoyed coming with us on this little trip away. And thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys.